Hey again, it's Mrs. Alar. Um, so I know Miss Giannino went over the break apart strategy for three digit edition and I thought that I would be able to give you another strategy so we know that we have a lot of different strategies that we could use when we're adding together three digit numbers. So Miss Giannino showed us the break apart strategy. We know that we have the number line and we could also know that we could solve using a place value blocks or using a hundred tens and ones chart and that's a strategy I wanted to go over with you today. So I'm going to show you and model with this number number 352 plus 264 equals box. What you could do at home is you could practice with lots of different numbers within a thousand. So let's get started. So we know when we're using our hundred tens and ones chart strategy, we look at our number, we read our equation out loud, 352 plus 264 equals box or blank. So we want to know what those two numbers put together equals. So what we do now is we go ahead and if we're going to use our hundred tens and ones chart or our place value blocks, we draw that chart. So we draw our hundred tens and ones chart. So now we have our H which stands for hundreds, our T which stands for tens, and our O which stands for ones. Then we started our number. We see 352 and so what we're doing is we are going to represent each part of the number in place value blocks. So we have 352. So we know that's three hundreds. We see a five in the tens place, which we know that means that's 50. So we draw five tens. And we see a two in the ones place, which we know is worth two. So we draw two ones. Now when you're drawing your place value blocks, you remember that a square equals a hundred, a line or a ten stick equals a tenth, and a dot equals a one. So keep that in mind as you're drawing. So we move over to our next number. Our next number that we have is 264. So we look at each part of our number, each section of our number, and we think, okay, what place is this? Where do I draw it? Well, I know that this is in the hundreds place. This is a two. So I draw two hundreds because I see two hundreds here. So I have one hundred, two hundred. I look in my tens place. I see a six. I know the value of that number is 60. So I know I draw six tens. And then I see a four in the ones place. So I go ahead and draw four ones. When I'm drawing, you notice that I'm drawing them that when it looks like our ones are in a 10 frame. So it's easy for me to count. So now I have all of our place value blocks represented on our 100 tens and ones chart. Now I always start at my ones. I start at my ones because I want to make sure if I have to regroup or bundle, we know that we're doing that from our ones. So I check my ones and I say one, two, three, four, five, six. I count them and I see that there are six. So I go ahead and write a six on the bottom because I know I have six ones. Then I move over to my tens place. Let's count how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I see that I have 11 tens. I know that when I have not more than 9, 10 or more, I have to do what we call bundle up or regroup. So what we do now is we count out 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We bundle them up and we like to cross them out so we know that we're moving them. They're no longer in the tens place. We are going to bundle them up though and create a new hundred and now these these ten tens are now inside of this hundred because we know that one hundred is ten ten and we have our one ten left over. Now we could go ahead and count our tens. I see that we have one ten here and let's count our hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six hundreds, one ten, and six ones. So when we put that number together, it becomes six hundred, one ten, and six ones. There's my dog wants to play. So this number is now six hundred and sixteen. I hope this was helpful for you, and I'm glad Luca got to come and help us. She's wagging her tail because she wants me to throw her ball. So I hope you have a great time solving these math problems, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.